Hi and welcome to the Delicious Gardens for another quick gardening tutorial. Here we have today the uh, humble potato. So um, these are last season's kiplers. I don't know if you can see that. So they've been in storage for nine months. So we harvested them around May and uh, they've sprouted. They're pretty soft. They've got these sprouts ready to go. So time to sow them in the ground. It's the start of spring, it's October. Put these in the ground, hopefully by May next year, we'll have some wonderful potatoes. So, here's my bucket of potatoes, and I'm gonna show you what to do. So first of all, we've got our pre-prepared bed covered in plenty of beautiful mulch. The mulch is really important to keep the water in and to keep the weeds away. Last thing you wanna be doing is weeding the whole time. So, you could, if you wanted to, cut that potato in half so as you had more runners, but because I've got plenty of them, I'm just gonna use the potato hole. Really simple, I've laid out along here some nice little holes that I've pre-dug, ready to bury the potatoes in. So, all I'm gonna do is, with my potato, got my little trowel here, dig my trowel out a little bit, say about that deep, and then with the potato, it doesn't matter if the sprouts are up or the sprouts are down, just sink him in so he's nice and buried cover him over with dirt. Now, if you wanted to be really extra, extra good with your potatoes, you could put them in little troughs and then you could gradually bury them over as they come up. If you look in front of me here, we've got a little one that must have been left over from last season. We must have missed him, so he sprouted up. If you wanted to get more potatoes, you could add more dirt over the top of the plant, leaving just a little bit out of the top. These little branches here should turn into more potatoes. Hope that helps with your potato farming for this upcoming season.